Welcome back to the highly anticipated episode two of E3K Swap Build, where I'm gonna be putting all the accessories and having the motor 90%, maybe 99% ready to install to the car. So enjoy. First off, we're gonna start disassembling the whole water pump assembly here so I can clean it up and paint it. Once again, I'm going to highly recommend getting some electric tools because it just saves you a crazy amount of time. After I remove this O-ring and scrape away all the nasty Honda Bond, a little soapy water, we'll get this thing ready for paint. Using my favorite scraper tool to cut the edges. You can also use a screwdriver or anything with a round edge, really. First coat of the VHT high temperature primer. And now the actual VHT aluminum top coat. You can just pretend that all of these were super satisfying one piece peels. Okay, so changing gears a bit while the paint hardens. This is the engine mount. And I noticed that this top hole didn't really fit this, the bolt it came with. And I consulted some people in the Facebook group and learned that there's a little defect here and I had to bore out the opening. This side mounts up with no issue though. Got a new O-ring here and some fresh Honda Bond to smear around the edges. Apparently you don't need to put it in the middle part. Uh, I guess we'll see. All this new hardware is from Downstar, which is a really cool company because I misordered some stuff and they sent me the right bolts for free. So the previous owner of this setup wasn't running heat on his car, so he had this block off bung and I'm gonna be replacing it with an elbow to run to my heater core.
Probably not really necessary, but I torqued all these two 16 foot pounds. A little heavy hand on the sealer here, but it'll do the trick. On the intake side here, I added some Honda Bond on these water passages just to really make sure it's gonna not leak. I mean, I've never built one of these before, but it just seemed right. I also put some on the left side to just help me hold the gasket in place. I got this 5 8 hose from the parts store and it runs from the thermostat up to the intake. This piece from Track Tough is necessary for retaining heat and it runs from your thermostat to your heater core. I struggled a bit getting this safety wire right, but eventually figured it out. Okay, so this part is actually pretty scuffed. Uh, on the back of this heater neck here, this is meant to be a coolant bleeder location, but I'm trying to retain all the stock gauges, so I'm gonna be using it to house my BMW coolant sensor, and it doesn't fit, so I used an adapter and then an oil tap basically to fit the sensor and hopefully it works. My power steering kit came in and this is a K20 crank pulley which is slightly smaller than a K24 and that's going to underdrive all the components as to not overrun the pump. So this bracket from K-Power allows you to mount a Miata power steering pump onto the water pump housing. It took me a bit to figure out the hardware because there's no instructions, so you actually have to mount one of the bolts before you mount this up at all. And I also realized you don't put these washers here because they're meant for the idler pulley. Now I'm just routing the belt through all the pulleys here and it's a little tricky because it's brand new so it needs to stretch a bit and I put it around the crank pulley and then used a ratchet to spin it on. Now I'm just setting the tension here. that complete that wraps up the video all the engine components are installed and it's ready to drop in